When I talk with my friend about any AI related topics, I realize when they say AI, they actually mean AGI. So today I want to talk about what AGI is and why it's so much more advanced than those so-called AI technology we saw in the news and some AI product we have in the market today. AGI stands for Artificial General Intelligence. For example, when they ask me, hey Liu Xia, um, do you think the AI technology today will somehow spawn a like Terminator that we saw in the movie into our real life? Like, no matter it will or it will not, that's not my con that's not my point today. My point is, when they say AI technology in that context, they actually mean AGI. What is AGI? AGI is an, a research field under the whole AI umbrella, just like computer vision, like machine learning. And AGI is developing a technology that focuses on accomplishing those tasks that usually we believe do not require intelligence. What? Yes, you heard me right. Do not require intelligence. What do I mean by that? So first, let's take a look at what do we believe actually require intelligence to do. For example, solving complex math problem, um, playing chess, or memorizing 1,000 random words within five minutes, right? So we believe people who can do those type of tasks very fast and very well are usually very smart and very intelligent. That's our common sense. Now let's take a look at the other side. What tasks do not usually require intelligence? For example, feeling happy, sensing motion, understand language. Those are the tasks that we believe almost everyone can do it without any training, just automatically, right? If a machine can accomplish those tasks, then we can say that machine achieved human-like intelligence or in this case, we can say it achieved AGI. Those tasks seem very easy for human, but also very, very fundamental because we can barely do anything without those capabilities. Let's take a human baby as an example. So before a human baby can solve any math problem, playing chess, the baby can understand the basic language from their parents, right? And feel happy, sense emotion of the parent, etc., etc. And just because of those fundamental capabilities, the baby can then, by interacting with the world, interacting with the parents, gain more and more uh, intelligence throughout the time. That's why being able to achieve those tasks is the real, real foundation for both human and machine intelligence. Those tasks are very, very easy for human, very, very fundamental, but extremely, extremely difficult for machine. Because in order to achieve those type of tasks, we need at least these four basic capabilities. Number one, perceiving. Like, understand what's going on in the whole world around us. And the second, containing a knowledge base. And then being able to analyze and finally learn. But a machine today can barely do the number three and have no idea how to do the other. Let's take one example. Like when my mom said, Hey Liu Xia, have you seen the 38 missed call from me? What is happening when I hear that from my mom? First, I perceive. Okay, her words, her tongue, her facial expression, her body language, right? And then, I have because I have a knowledge base, I need to be able to compare what I just perceived with my knowledge base. Her tongue is stronger than normal, and her facial expression and crossed arm means I'm not happy. Then I need to analyze. First, like I analyze her sentence literally to understand what that sentence means. And then also compared to my knowledge base, I realized even though she phrased that as a question, have you seen the missed cause from me? She doesn't want to know the answer. She just want me to what? Yes, apologize and say, I'm sorry. So I should apologize instead of answering that. And then finally, I need to learn based on this experience. I need to put this back into my knowledge base so next time I can use it. Like I just said, today, the AI technology or machine can only barely do the number three, the analyzing part. For example, I can easily get frustrated when I talk to Siri. I think you probably can uh, relate to that, right? The reason is when I talk to Siri, Siri cannot understand, cannot really receive my tone, sense my emotion. And Siri does not have the knowledge base to understand what my tone, what my emotion means in order to find a proper way to respond. So that's why our technology today is still very, very far away from the real human intelligence, aka the AGI. So now you know what AGI is and what AGI is capable of. Next time when you are looking at the news and see some company claim they have the true AI technology or product, I hope you can easily differentiate that from the real AGI and advanced technology. By simply ask, can that technology, that product, achieve those tasks do not require intelligence? Can it feel happy? Can it feel upset? 
can either sense your emotion, can you simply understand some very basic language and have a normal conversation? If it can, it is probably on the right track. I hope you like the video. If you do, please click the like button and uh, comment down below. Let me know what other AI topics you want me to talk about. And subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you next time.